Hello everyone, uh, it's me again. Uh, it's been a while, to, it's been a really long time and I hope everyone had a great new year. And I'm here with the physics update as I mentioned in the, uh, in the, in the website that I've been working on my physics engine in the, for the server. And I finally came to the conclusion that I should use uh, digital rune instead of any of the other uh, uh, physics engines that I describe in the website. I've been using a couple of different uh, physics engines uh, so far, including uh, the physics.net wrapper and then also uh, BEPU physics engines. Both of them are great, and then uh, but but I, unfortunately, yes, uh, every, everything has its uh, flaws, and I decided to, to use uh, Digital Ruins physics engines since uh, it seemed promising, and then also it was free if you're using it for non-commercial. So I just uh, just trying it right now. It's it's working great actually, and also develop developing my own physics engine. Uh, it's a, it's actually basically a quadra implementation if you're into that kind of stuff. Feel free to uh, send me questions, and uh, well, let's get, let's get back to the game. So, uh, as you can see, that I made a lot of changes. Uh, the actually, not essentially a lot of changes, but a few. The uh, top icons, I've replaced the buttons, and then replaced them with the uh, with the icons. Actually, they I think they look really good. I, I, I've heard a lot of people uh, complaining about the buttons, so I've rep replaced them completely. And also the minimap, I used a different kind of a minimap system. Right now it's a, I'm using a planes, so even the blips are planes, so they're actually not moving as I move. I used GUI for the uh, blips, and, and uh, well, right now it's uh, all uh, working pretty good. And then also the NPCs got uh, the icons of their head as well. I've uh, replaced them with the uh, wow style question marks, and then exclamation marks with these I think they look pretty pretty good I guess well let's get back to business physics so the way the physics runs in my game is client also uh, calculates physics in addition to the server because uh, client basically gives instant response to the player but the uh, the server calc uh, verifies uh, clients position because it also runs a uh, physics server side uh, I shouldn't say physics actually because uh, the only only reason I'm using physics engine server side is uh is is due, is due to a collision system so that's the only thing i'm using i'm only using the physics engine for the collision uh, this game is not a physics based game now but in the future it may change for the moment being it's just a collision based game because and that, that means uh, you can collide with world objects except uh, players and npcs so let's try to collide with these boxes so you can see the client is preventing the player from moving also the server is preventing the uh, player from moving through the boxes and that works and then uh, well I got instantly teleported back because I'm actually recording this video because fraps takes a lot of processing power when you're uh, recording videos and also I'm running the server plus this uh, client just to demonstrate the, uh, the, the clients cannot cheat through the uh, client uh, physics uh, collision system I've removed the collider for this uh, for this particular tree over here so let's see if, if what happens if I uh, go th goes through that. Let's see. Hmm. I'm still going, huh? Oh, there we go. We got. I got teleported. So the client does uh, client side prediction. It only corrects the position of the uh, player if it's off by a certain distance. So I get teleported after a while. So you can see you cannot cheat the server system. So that works. And then also I've designed a uh, GM system. It's basic actually doesn't do a lot. You can spawn mobs and then kill mobs or kill players or uh, you can actually uh, use it to your favor and then gain uh, power or health. So let's uh, kill this uh, wolf over here. Cooldowns. As you can see the uh, monsters do not have any attack uh, spells. They just use one single attack. Well, it may it will change in the future. I didn't design any uh, uh, NPC uh, attack spells. Um, unfortunately, I cannot loot that. Hmm. Looks like some kind of uh, position related, but target is out of range. That's odd, actually. I didn't think I'll face this one. Oh, there we go. It looks like there was something has to do with the position. 
client related position the position uh, was in uh, within range because the client's position and the server's position must have been off by a certain amount so so right now we got our health low oh and never power so let's uh cheat And we got free mana and free health. It's not actually free. I'm a GM, so I got I can do whatever I want. Comes with the price. So that's pretty much it, actually. That's all I wanted to show. And also, I'm actually uh, working on world-to-world -world transfer systems. Basically, I'm actually running another zone at the moment. Uh, but I'm, unfortunately, I can't show you guys uh, go me going to the other zone because there is no zone to zone transfer features available right now but i'm actually working you can actually spawn inside another server if you want but you cannot move in between the zones at the moment that's what i'm actually working on right now so the next update is going to be mainly uh based off of that and then also i'm planning on uh changing a few stuff so uh this physics update will be free for whomever uh bought my project but that's going to be the last update unfortunately because i'm not no longer selling the project and I came back to working on this project uh, full time, so that will be the last update uh, that I'll send, and uh, that's pretty much it. And uh, stay tuned and look for more updates because I will be making some new videos soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.